Good morning, this is Kella Land on the go with all you need to know in news and weather as you start your day. Sioux Falls Police are asking for the public's help in identifying someone trying to get into homes. The department posted this video to its Facebook page. Authorities say this person has tried to get into several different homes and cars in the area of 85th Street and Western Avenue over the last couple weeks. Officials ask that you make sure to lock your house, garage, and car. If you see anything suspicious, you are asked to call police. A 52-year-old Aberdeen man was arrested in Minnehaha County, accused of trying to entice a child. Sioux Falls police say a family was outside the Union Gospel Mission. The mother told police the man tried to grab her three-year-old daughter by the arm. The mother also told authorities the same man had been trying to talk or reach out to the girl over the last few days. Officers arrested him on a charge of trying to entice a child. Lake County Sheriff's Office is asking for the public's help in finding a vehicle that drove off after a crash. Authorities say it happened between Wednesday night and Thursday morning in Ramona. The vehicle is described as a dark gray GMC. It will have extensive front end damage. If you have any information about the crash, you're asked to call the Lake County Sheriff's Office. The South Dakota Department of Public Safety has released its list of sobriety checkpoints planned for next month. In October, there will be a total of 23 sobriety checkpoints in 16 counties. Those counties include Minnehaha, Lincoln, and Pennington counties, along with Brookings, Brown, and Clay County. The checkpoints are conducted by the Highway Patrol along with local law enforcement. Progress is being made on a major road construction project in southern Sioux Falls. South Cliff Avenue is now fully open to traffic between 49th and 56th Street. There's still some minor work being done, so some lane closures may be in place over the next few weeks. Now let's get a check of our morning forecast with meteorologist Scott Munt. Another warm day today, Scott. Well, another uh, day with temperatures in the 70s and 80s. Another day with some southerly wind, too. 15 to 30 miles per hour. The occasional higher gusts. Keeping this warm air in place. You know, we have numbers in the 60s this morning to cover central and south central South Dakota. And that is where we will have temperatures in the 80s for afternoon highs. More details on the Kettle Land Live Doppler forecast coming up. Thanks, Scott. Vermilion police say an officer came across a furry visitor while on patrol this morning. This mountain lion was seen in the 100 block of North Dakota Street just after 4 o'clock. You can see it run across the road. Authorities ask that you remain aware if you go for a walk or jog this morning, just in case the big cat is still around. This weekend, a local pumpkin patch is helping kids fighting cancer. Riverview Christmas Tree Farm in Canton is hosting its pumpkin festival. For every medium and large pumpkin purchase, $3.50 will be donated to Sanford's Cure Kids Cancer Program. We use the funds that are raised for Cure Kids Cancer to support the Child Life Program. So they talk through a, a cancer diagnosis with the child in a way that the child will understand. And we fund the spiritual care program. We fund the on-site teacher to make sure they don't fall behind in their schooling. The program also helps reimburse families for mileage and provides them with meal vouchers. Starting today, hair salons across South Dakota will provide hair extensions as part of Avera's We Care Pink Hair event. Participants can get a pink, purple, or mauve extension for a monetary donation of $10. The goal of the month-long event is to raise awareness and funds for breast cancer patients. Being cancer related I think is very important. I think everyone's been touched by it in some form. So if this is the least we can do, I think it's awesome. You can find a list of the salons and dates with this story on Kelloland.com. Harvest is now underway at a fourth generation family farm near Worthington, Minnesota. Final crop, they came together thanks to the help of the entire community. I think the unexpectedness was probably the worst. You know, you know, nobody expects that phone call. This past Easter, Bruce Lubin died of a heart attack while doing morning chores on the farm. The sudden death was devastating for his family and friends. And being a farm, seed was already waiting and to be planted. That's when neighbors came together to help. They did everything to help us with the spring planting, all of the spraying, all of literally everything from start to now finish. And it has been amazing, amazing. And they have all been so great at helping and checking in on us and making sure that we're good and that the farm is still still up and going, and it is. Um, but yeah, we're so thankful for everybody. 
Now that harvest is underway, even more area farmers are coming together to finish out the season for the Lubin family. You can help save lives just by rolling up your sleeve. Kettleland Media Group is teaming up with Avera, Sanford, and the Community Blood Bank for a donorthon. You can donate blood on Thursday, October 13th from 7 a.m. to 4 p.m. We're trying to fill 130 donations that will help 390 patients in our community. You can sign up through the Community Blood Bank's website. The donation event will take place outside of our studios along Phillips Avenue. And that's a look at some of our top stories. Now let's get one last look at your weather with meteorologist Brian Carstens. Brian? All right, weather it is. We're looking at another warm day today. That southerly wind will be steady. 15 to 30 miles per hour in several locations of central and eastern Kettleland. I would expect overall here uh, 80 degree weather likely in a pier this afternoon. You'll notice a couple of sprinkles here too in the northeast. We still are contending with a little bit of this, but still in the 70s. Sioux Falls, I think, will reach a high of 77. Can't rule out an isolated shower sprinkled this evening around Sioux Falls, but you look at the west, that's where your better chances of rain will come into the Black Hills. And then Another shot at rain for the Black Hills on Saturday, I would say mostly Saturday night or late in the day, as that bigger area of low pressure to our west continues to, to spin through. Uh, but folks, East River, a lot less organization to that the way it looks right now. So warm day, warm way to end the month of September. We have a high there at 87 in winter, 81 in Mitchell. Your forecast tonight, we're still in the 50s with a few of those passing clouds. And then tomorrow, we're back on track to 77 Sioux Falls, 75 in Aberdeen. Easterly wind there, 15 to 25. Sioux Falls 7-day forecast, 70s going through Tuesday. Chance of rain gets to Sioux Falls by about that point. And then another item to keep in mind is the chance of some cooler weather. As we get toward day seven, we've got a lot, a lot of details there to hammer out, but looks like the coldest air of the season so far is going to drop in with a cold front. So more to say on that later. Chance of rain, Aberdeen will probably get to Aberdeen a little faster than Sioux Falls Monday into Tuesday. Even for Pierre, a day earlier, Sunday, chance of rain, Monday, Tuesday. This whole system, though, is sl uh, so slow to move out that we kind of broad brush some of those chances of rain even into Rapid City as we start this weekend. Find out more details about the weather online at kevoland.com.